In this episode of Microcast, I'm going to show you how to get your Onion Omega connected to the Onion Cloud, which unlocks the Internet of Things potential of your Omega device. Okay, now the very first thing that you're going to want to do before we start is make sure that your Omega is turned on and that it's booted up and ready to go. Next, we're going to come to the Onion website here, just onion.io. We're going to click on the Cloud menu item. We're going to scroll down past what the cloud dashboard looks like and some marketing speak about what it is and what it offers. And we're going to click Access Onion Cloud. Now, this brings you to a login screen. This is the same login that you will use if you log into the Onion website. There is not a separate account for the Onion Cloud. It's just all one consolidated account, which is pretty nice. If you don't have an account, there's a register here link right down at the bottom. Otherwise, we'll just go ahead and enter in our credentials that we use for the regular Onion Omega site. Go ahead and click Login. Type my password, right? And right away, it brings us into the Onion Cloud dashboard. It's got some fancy looking things, Cloud Compile, Device Explorer, Device Manager, Key Manager. If this is your first time, it will take you through a tour, which you're welcome to follow through. It gets you oriented and started with the Onion Cloud if at any time you want to rewatch that tour, you just click on this little blue icon down at the bottom with the eye in it, and it will take you back through that. Today, what we want is Device Manager. We're going to click on that, and it'll show you a list of devices. Right now, I don't have any of them set up. To do that, we're going to come up to the right-hand corner here and click on New Device. And we'll go ahead and give our device a name. And if you'd like a description, and click Create Device. Now your device is created in the Onion Cloud. We'll go ahead and click on it, and it brings us to this screen. Now at this point, if this is your first time, it might be a little confusing what you're supposed to do. You can see the device name and description, the ID and the device secret, but it wasn't, at least to me, obvious the very first time that what I needed to do was come up to the upper right-hand corner to this setup code. And what we're going to do is generate, like it says here, a one-time code to set up your Omega with the cloud. This is the code that's going to attach your physical Omega to the cloud backend. So I'm going to click Setup Code. Sometimes the code pops up right away. Other times it doesn't. If it doesn't, just hit Regenerate. It'll put one up for sure. And then this progress bar starts counting down backwards. This code is only good for a certain amount of time uh, until it times out. What we'll do is we'll open up a new tab. At this point, you want to log into your local Onion Omega. In my case, it's omega-1acd.local. That's the Omega I have connected to my local network. I'm going to come to the login page and log in. Now, if you are not running the most recent firmware on your Omega, you will need to do that. You can do that here in Settings. You go to Firmware Upgrade. I should have mentioned that at the beginning. You need to be on the latest. Once you are, you will see this cloud settings option. It's a new setting. Come in here and we'll just paste our setup code and do setup device. It'll think about it for a second and then it'll tell you here's your device ID and here's the secret. Okay, and once we see this, we can come back to the Onion Cloud, close this. The pop up box just went away that said it detected a new attached device, but we can see that by simply clicking. You'll see on the left hand side, We've got our device manager icon. Anytime you click on this little onion icon, it takes you back to the main dashboard. We can click back on device manager. Now you'll notice it still says offline. This is an issue I think with the, the dashboard. It doesn't always refresh, but a simple way we can just come up to here and force a refresh on the page. Come back to device manager. You can click on it again, and you'll see that it's online. It'll even tell you the local IP address on your local network uh, that your Omega has. And that's all there is to it. At this point, your Omega is associated with the Onion Cloud, which unlocks all of the cool things that we can see uh, here on the main dashboard. We come back here. Cloud Compile, Key Manager, Device Explorer, even Remote Device uh, Access and Administration. And I will make some more screencasts on those things. This just wanted to cover how to actually get it connected to the cloud and ready to go. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email, kevin at sidwar.com. I'm happy to help. And until next time, happy hacking on that Omega.